Yeah. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Yeah, I have plenty of guests this time. <laughs> this is going to be quite fun. Hopefully the game will not crash as many times Ooh. anymore. Should we make it safe for work? Uh, for streaming? Or... The stream? Eh. Safe for work? Huh? Uh, should we limit our topics? Um, no, you can be as politically incorrect as you want. Like, we've had plenty of people say nigga on the stream before, so... Yeah. Well, you just said it just then. Exactly. Okay, exactly. As I'm saying, like this really does matter. Yeah, you would. You will come to regret it once you become very big. Yeah, and, and we have also. I think we also have talked about Jews once in, in a stream before. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's not get into that this early in the stream. <laughs> well, technically, you just started it. Yes, I know. <laughs> But I'm also so, that. You know, you know the best the solution. Game. You know what the best solution is? It's the final one. <laughs> the final one. Ah. The juice did me. They wanted to exterminate the Muslims first. Yes. Well, well, it, it is. It is an. I, I was we just talking about before. It is an incredible smart idea. Hey, let's get a bunch of uh, Jews that Muslims hate. Kick a bunch of Muslims out of a country and put Jews there instead. Yes. What a brilliant idea. Didn't Britain... Wasn't uh, Britain the architect of Israel? Hmm? Hmm. <sighs> Did another oopsie. Alright, so close to the variables now. Hmm. Let's make sure this room is the proper right. Yes, everything is running smoothly. Why didn't you guys do a collaboration with kids? Excuse Pardon? me, what now? Why don't you guys do a collaboration with kids? Collab team. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, not, don't know. I've been in a couple of kids' streams, but... Mm. I think it's just, uh, personally, it's just like a different thing. I didn't really know that Kip streamed, so... Oh yeah, yeah. He, he plays Dungeons... Uh, not Dungeons... He, he plays fucking... Uh, uh, Hate Pon, I think it is. Uh, fucking... What is it? Wow, wow, that's it. He plays well. <laughs> what? World of Warcraft? Yep. Okay. Doesn't he always do communicate to the team? Pardon? Doesn't he do community, community streams? Yeah, yeah. He does community streams. Uh, it's mostly like WoW. Like last, he was playing like uh, Here's the New Earth, I think it is, or something like that. Are you sure you need more wood though? Uh, I use quite a lot mm -hmm. for making uh, my camp, so... Yes! Okay. okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yes. I only have like 300 pieces of wood. Of I have about 400. Of the wood. Hmm. Yes, but I'm pretty certain we're talking about two different kinds of wood here. The morning one? No, the building That's material. Yeah. Okay, because I assume that you well, like originally it was like building material, and then you're like, it's not the wood you're thinking of, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know Lucerne well I enough, but he will never refer to that kind of stuff willingly. 
<laughs> well, technically, oh, he just did. Just all the time. Yeah. Technically, he just did. Just assume that if it's something Lucerne says and it sounds like an innuendo, it wasn't meant as one. <laughs> yep, exactly. You were thinking of morning wood. <sighs> So my win is D. Confirm. Maven, you are slowly corrupting him. <laughs> I'm working on it, slowly. damn it. <laughs> ah, jolly good show. Hopefully it runs well. So, so how how many people would we be able to set up tomorrow for Plan Side Two, perhaps? If we can get everyone, uh, I mean, if we can get everyone, then we technically have uh, six people playing. So, I mean, we can fill up uh, three vanguards with that. Pretty good. Yeet. I don't know what they are, but yeet, yeet. Uh, uh, yes. Big tank. Okay, I'm okay with that. I love the tank. That, a, that that is a fun toy to play with. Yeah. Um, so we can drive the tank. We can also just go with uh, six lightnings because ridiculous. <laughs> the thing I don't yeah, like about the tank is what type of tank doesn't have a se secondary. Uh, that's the lightning. Yeah. The vanguard has a. Uh, yeah, the lightning ha only has a main cannon. The Vanguard has a main cannon and a uh, top mounted, uh, usually a machine gun, but you can put other stuff on there. Okay. For some reason, like, a lot of people like to put rocket launchers on it. Oh, it'd be like a double tank. Yeah, but that's just u useless. I mean. It is stupid. Yeah. Well, you want anti personnel weapons on top because, like, yeah. the one thing that fucks the tank the most is infantry. Mm-hmm. see. Actually, I would say it's smarter to put a um, anti-aircraft gun on it, and then have a uh, high-explosive yeah. cannon on it, so that you can uh, use your vanguard to take out. Uh, you can use the main gun to take clear out large groups of uh, infantry, and then you can use the uh, top-mounted gun to take out aircrafts. Then you use your lightnings for tank hunting. Well, just like if there was a. V Viable vehicle that behaved like Bane Blade. Uh, <laughs> all those bonsons. <laughs> I mean, we have a uh, flying Bane Blade in the uh, galaxy, so. Yeah, but. <sighs> That's not fun. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> More like a girl I would... Also, is there, is there a gu main gun for Vanguard or Lightning that's, that's a machine gun? Um, for the lightning, there is a AA gun. The main gun for the lightning normally is a six-shot burst cannon. That's the best you can get. If you upgrade to anything else, it's going to be a one-shot with way more power behind it. Hmm. Uh, so you can basically either put a armor piercing or high explosive armor piercing for enemy tanks, and high explosive for just instantly killing large groups of infantry. So you cannot pull a punished style demon Ross. Unfortunately. No. Ooh. I'm okay with that. That that would have been nice. Just mount a giant Gatling onto the the turret. Well, we can actually mount a giant Gatling, but that's an anti-aircraft gun. Oh, does you, it, you should does be it still, able to use that. You should be able work. to use that as an anti-infantry weapon. It's not accurate enough to be effective, but if you do get direct hits, it will deal quite a bit of damage. But it is way too inaccurate to guarantee that, so we would have to be right up on them. It's, yeah, uh, yeah now the thing... So it's better to just not snipe with a main gun. Pretty much, yeah. that's what people do. Yep, especially seeing as we can get a high explosive one and just completely shred infantry. It's actually kind of ridiculous how good it is. Alright, well, I'm I'm gonna grab something to eat and watch a movie, so I'll be back in probably an hour's time. Yeah, then I'll be, I'll be away for by then, so. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'll uh, catch you guys, and yeah, when I see you guys next.
Oh, you just, what, you just gonna wanna get rid of Lucerne? <laughs> you <All> prick. Right. <laughs> oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. That thing's a bit tanky. That thing's a bit tanky. Haha! So, what are you shooting at? Um, I can't quite see it yet because. Strong Mylarch? Oh, well, it. Mylarchs. Well, it. Panicking over Mylarchs. Well, it didn't take quite enough damage for me to really feel comfortable. It. Two shots didn't really take out, like, oh, half its health. Deceit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, I can this understand is. you'd be annoyed at the deceased ones. Yeah. Didn't. Didn't want it to get close to me, and it's. It soaked up a bit too many bullets for my liking. So I was like, I'm just gonna hop up on the ledge where it can't get to me, and then I hit it in the head and just instantly died. So, it's all good. By the way, why are you still guys saying fall out to the people? Pardon? Well, that works. Why do you still... Hmm? Explosive shotgun. It really worked. <laughs> no. You could still... Hey, why do you still scream? Fall out to the um, I have never really liked Fallout 3. Uh, I quite like 76, but that's just because it's Fallout 4, but where I can play with friends. He's gone, Fallout 3. Is it still buggy, or did he fix it all? Uh, not all, but it's not as bad as, any, as people say at all. No, I have more glitches playing uh, most other games. Like I have encountered more yes. issues with moving around in Star Wars: through The Old Republic. I get stuck like every five minutes in that game. I don't have that issue here. Uh, Dark Souls Three yeah, crashes yeah, way more than um, than Fallout Seventy Six. And so. also stumble yeah. upon more glitches when you play Destiny Two. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> How many times have I found ways to look underneath the ground in that game where geometry just just doesn't work? <laughs> Half a dozen? Yeah, it's, it's bloody ridiculous. Well, wait, no, I mean half a dozen places where you've managed to get into the level geometry. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Those are quite common. They still build the base in the big city. Yes, yeah. uh, it is really it's shit very though. Small. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very small. small. It's bad because they want it to all be like. Uh, structurally sound or something, so you have to be able to get everywhere, and you can't place objects kind of in weird angles. And it's a bit, eh. it doesn't feel as good as it did in Fallout 4. Yeah, and the bu building materials are somehow worse. Yeah, because we don't have access to all the interesting things. It's all very and square and blocky. Yeah, the walls are also too tall. tall. Yeah, it's really annoying. And they for force people to use foundation blocks for the lowest most level. Yeah. Meaning you cannot have a ledge of a of a mountain, for example. Yeah, I mean, I found a way to kind of do it, but it's awkward. It's really awkward. Yes. That's why I don't count it. Yeah. Oh, right, this place. So, so with how they set it up, it makes perfect sense that people build manor, manor houses, because anything else is bloody weird. Yes. But doesn't your building get deleted after you are in a block? Yep, they do. Very abruptly, too. And what happened to your, uh, your building materials? Uh, they're stored. As in, the buildings are stored, so when you log back in, they return. So they're just not existent for the players because you aren't there. But if you are available on the server, then your buildings are there too. I thought they would make a new rust. Something like rust. Where you could raid and pillage other, other bases. Yeah, oh. no, not for it. Uh, they made that new mode. So what did they call it? Did they call it survival mode? I think they called it hardcore mode, actually. Hardcore mode. Right. But we haven't taken a look into that. No. And I also think that the bases vanished there, which makes yeah. decent sense to me. 
Yeah. It's not Koenig size. Yeah, the map is a bit too small for it to really uh, work with them yeah. all being there all the time, especially considering the large player base for this game. Because as much as people hate on this game, there's still quite a few people playing it. Yeah. And, well, Conan Exile shows why it's really annoying if your face sticks around while you're off, offline. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, definitely, definitely if someone tries to attack your base, you get the, you get a duel, you know, duel, okay, you get to duel the person who tried to attack your base, is that right? Uh, uh, I cannot loot anything from enemy bases if that's what you're asking. Yeah, there's pretty much no reason to do it. I mean, we've only really quote unquote attacked enemies down. because uh, we wanted to use their uh, like crafting benches and stuff like that and they'd locked the door so we had to pick the lock and that was only once yeah so. basically don't lock your door it's it's bad form because well locking your door just encourages people to break in yeah and if we can't pick the lock then we'll just break down a door a wall to do it Besides, it's only five caps to get through. Exactly. No. no hardly anyone gets five. a bounty. What? So a bounty is only five caps? Uh, yeah, for breaking into a place? Yeah. Yeah, it's not a lot. What's the highest bounty you've encountered? Uh, 40 caps. Yeah. What can you buy with 40 caps? Not I mean, I've hunted, I've hunted down quite a few people with bounties, just because fun. Just, I just, just kind of... Because you can. Yeah. It's like, oh, look at this low-level person. Where you just... Yeah. Yeah, just like a low-person just... player just kind of enters and he's like, Oh, hey, I'm just gonna ice this person for 15 caps. <laughs> Screw you, basically. <laughs> just fast travel to be right behind him and then just shotgun falling back. <laughs> no, I, I put a... Uh, I put a uh, 45 round through his head. <laughs> mm. Same shit. Yeah. So, so something like New Vegas, where Benny shot the courier with a 45. Uh, no, that was a nine mil. A nine mil. Maria yeah. Was a nine mil. Yeah. No, I shot this guy yeah. with a uh, lever action rifle, which is like one of the more powerful rifles in the game. <laughs> it's like he was already halfway dead. He'd gone to the end of a dungeon essentially. I just kind of followed him. I <laughs> just snuck down in one corner and just shot him in the face. <laughs> but, but he... and, and then his, his friend, came, friend came and tried to start shit. Yeah, then I was just kind of like, eh. <laughs> go away. Uh, shooting other players without a duel in invitation damage. Uh, take, take less damage. Or neg negligible damage. Yeah, but when they have have a bounty, they still they still are PvP. Yeah. So they take full damage. Yes. When you have a bounty, you take full damage. Which means hunting down people with the bounty is real fun because you can just plus you don't get uh, there's no negative side effects to it. Like you get paid for killing someone and griefing and we also them. Also found out that technically. There might be an exploit where you can get infinite caps for doing that shit. Yeah. But we didn't want to dare it because Bethesda has been known to ban people for stupid shit in, in 76. Heck, you can get banned for having too much ammunition. Exactly. That's what I mean with that. They've been known to ban people for stupid shit. So they equate too much ammunition with shooting. Yes. I don't I don't know the exact case. There was a what one case about it. Yeah, it was because he dropped ammunition and had his uh, old characters pick it up. Um, and that apparently triggered their uh, kind of like, oh no, this is bad. That's all they're genius. No. Great camera film. Kill angle. Hmm. Yeah. I ought to be preparing for leaving. Uh. All right.
right, so today's hunting trip is kill anglers in the mire, so I should make my way over there. So long as you don't do the anglerfish dance, it should be fine. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, you don't want to know. Yeah, I also really need to craft some more lever action rifles so I can potentially learn how to make a suppressor for this thing. Because that would severely help my uh, my ability to kill stuff quickly. Will then the I... suppressor help your ability to kill stuff quickly? Yes, because sneak attacks deal a lot of damage for me. So, uh, oh, yeah, true. And if I can stay hidden for longer, Very that. Very true. Yeah. I don't sneak often enough because I, I don't see the point because I'm loud when I shoot, so yeah. But if I get a suppressor then I'll start sneaking a lot more. Anyway, I'll be I'll be leaving, so yes. have a nice one. Yeah. I do, I do. <laughs> Yeah, no, I quite like this game. It's fun. It's a win business. But why, why doesn't it have increasing? Pardon? What was that? Sorry, you're really quiet. I have a hard time hearing you. Why doesn't World of 26 have NPCs. Um, NPCs. It was just a decision they made to be like, oh yeah, every human you meet is an actual player. And that was basically a sort of like design decision that they made, uh, which means that there's no reason to... Yeah. It was just part of the premise that they made, essentially. They essentially have to make excuses for why all the humans are gone. Uh, it's a bit stupid, but... They have to, they don't have to record dialogue. Hmm. Shame, really. Yeah. Uh, well, the real issue is that whenever you're told to find survivors, it's just like, well, I know there's not going to be any. You will only find bones. Yeah, ghouls, scorched, and robots. That's it. And there's plenty of robots. Like, there's a lot of robots, actually. Never any survivors. It's a bit weird. Hmm. Yeah. My next mission is basically requires me to go into a cave and explore the entire cave almost. So I need a lot of ammunition for that. Which is also one of the reasons why I want the suppressor. So I can go through there without being spotted. What's the appeal? What's the appeal? The... Player what? I mean, I'm currently working on trying to become part of the Enclave, which means I have to complete the main storyline. Because the Enclave sells mutation serums, so... And I want to get, uh, have more control over what mutations I get. The Enclave says... Yeah, they, they sell mutations. It's... It's a thing that they do, apparently. And they're trying to wipe out... The entire human species? No, uh, everyone... Who isn't them? But uh, I don't know. This game is not very law friendly. <laughs> no, they become merchants. <laughs> I mean, it's basically just buying it from a robot that they have standing around, and they have all the advanced stuff. So for some reason, they also get the mutation serums. So even the traders are robots. Yeah. A shame what they did with Ola. 
Oh boy, these are tough boys. What's the guy with the nuke? Knocking me back when I get hit in the back. This makes bigger mm -hmm. sense. Ah, uh, it's just the game is being stupid, and when I get hit by an explosion from behind, I get knocked. I get knocked back instead of being knocked forward as I should. This doesn't quite know how to handle uh, directional damage, essentially. Wait, what the? That's not how that's supposed to work. There we go. Finally got him. Wait, you can buy mutations from other players? Can you actually craft mutation serums? That's... Huh. How can buying something that you can get from a vendor be cheaper than... Like... But wouldn't they get it from buying it from a vendor? So... You know, kind of expensive? Maybe they would. They will try to discard that mutation. But they aren't that, from what I could read, they aren't that expensive when you actually buy them from the, uh, from the actual NPC yes. vendor. My understanding was that it was pretty much like somewhere between, uh, what was it, uh, 3,000 to 6,000 caps per mutation? Not that bad. Considering how quick it actually is to get the caps in this game. So. Yeah. Hmm. Where is that guy? Ah, oh, great, now I'm getting close to this power plant, so I'm gonna have to just listen to that stupid announcement again. Right. Yeah, yeah, powering up one. Well, not guy, whatever. Really don't care. Attention customers. Mononga Power Plant has experienced huh. an unexpected failure. We apologize for the inconvenience. Rest assured that our maintenance crews are working hard to minimize the outage and Luna. safely restore power. Pardon? Based on current projections, most customers should expect power Maybe. to be restored by Yeah. Why do players sell them for so few caps? I, I don't quite understand how that works. Do 
Can we find mutation serums as drops? Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind of, I'm kind of close to my jump. So players are just selling mutation serums at a loss, I guess, then? Hmm. Weird. Damn it. <sighs> Didn't even hit me there. Okay, chili fingers. What the heck what does that do? Jelly fingers. Range AP cost plus plus one. Okay, no more bats then. That's fine, I guess. Mm -hmm. Eh, fair enough. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Hmm. Hopefully my food will last me. Hmm. Howdy. Hey. What's up? Ah. So my work called. You don't have to work then? Don't have to work today. Hooray! <laughs> Instead, you can join my stream. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I know you're streaming. So, I figured I should come in and ruin it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. So, how goes the quest for Deathclaw booty? Well, apart from the fact that I've made... Uh, well, are you talking about the my attempts at making the mod, or my attempts in this game? Because in this game I haven't encountered one since I got the perk that allows me to pacify them. Yeah, that's rough. Well, it's just but not the mod, the... you you managed to make death claws friendly. Yes. Now the problem is they're just too big for everything. Yes. I'd like to say I have a solution to that, but I really don't. Other than maybe just shrinking them. Yeah. Uh, no, I play on PC because, well, I use mods, so I kind of have to play on PC, plus my PC is more powerful than a PlayStation 4, so I don't see a reason to play on a PlayStation 4, you know, unless I want to play Dark Souls, no, not Dark, uh, Bloodborne. It's about the only reason I could see to get a PlayStation 4. Of course, if Bloodborne to PC like they should, then I really don't see a reason to have it. Why do everyone who watches my streams play on consoles and stuff? A bit distressing. <laughs> Great, am I gonna have a small war in my chat now? Well... So... You think we retcon We just stick with the consequences of what we've done? It's probably best to retcon it, I'll argue. Just to avoid the whole party All ripping right. it. Mostly just to avoid the party oh, yeah. ripping itself apart, because, yeah, it can quickly get kind of bloody. Yeah. I don't really mind either way, so, hmm. yeah. Uh, no. Console peasants aren't really responsible for anything related to games. Games originally were created for the MS-DOS system. At least that's where all the good games were created for, such as XCOM, US o, De o Defender, and the original Doom. Those were both made for uh, MS-DOS. Well, I didn't play the original Doom back in the day, I played Heretic. Which, 
basically the magic version. You guys coming close. So anything interesting going on? Other than a small war in my chat, um, <laughs> not too much. Yeah, really. what's that war about? Uh, console versus PC. Oh, PC is superior. <laughs> if, and big if you have the money to build. Consoles are good for pre. Just you know, if there's something specific you want to play, and that's the end of it. But. PC is an end is a world of endless opportunity. Pretty much, yeah. I used to be a console peasant too. Sometimes yeah. I still miss the feel of having a controller in my hands. But you'll be glad you made the switch. Okay, who where am I taking shots from? I know not that type of shot. What's a playing off of something? I don't really. I mean, here's the thing: the real money for um, games actually comes from PC, which we could also see with the original Doom. That was more installed than uh, Microsoft Windows at the times. Like that—that's how big that game was. I think made major move off. Wait, what the? Where's the rest of the station? Okay then. Part of the train station is missing. <laughs> well, a console can support mods as long as you don't go with a PlayStation. Because, you know, Xbox actually support mods. Kinda. They're a bit more limited because, well, they have a very limited amount of space available to them, but they still allow them. Uh, yeah, and I can't play this game without mods because I don't like depth of field, and I don't like motion blur, and I don't like mouse acceleration, and I like keyboard controls. Um, I've been playing them for since like the beginning. I had a small period of time where I visited a friend who had like a PlayStation 2, I believe, where we played uh, things such, such as Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. That was quite fun. Um, then again, that was also really easy to aim because that thing had crazy auto aim. Actually, kind of ridiculous to not. So, yeah. I mean, this game just has the big problem that uh, it keeps trying to override my any settings, so it's a bit annoying like that. Oh, right, wait, I need to pacify. Mm. Nope, didn't work. The alpha is not happy to be pacified. Have you tried seducing it? I just did, I just did that attempt, but it failed. Boofed. Also, it's an alpha, so, uh, yeah. Bit of a tough boy. Mm. 
Ow! Okay. Killing me, killing me, killing me. There we go. Alright, come on up over the hill. Hmm. Alright, where did that boy run off to? Well, no, that whole thing with that stuff not loading was because of a problem with the server connection. Oh, wow. Don't like that point there, of course. That's why I no, didn't work. There we go. Done. Well, at least I still get some death for me. You will? <laughs> Stop being a furry. <laughs> hey, hey, death claws are reptiles. Okay, this stop. is scaly. <laughs> yes, but furry says. Keep that furry shit out of my house. This is a proud scaly home. <laughs> yes, but you keep saying furry shit like ooh. I'm doing it ironic. It doesn't sound ironic though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, no, it's not. Oh, so who, who are you to give me shit? The the, the kind of shit you post. What? <laughs> Fucking nipple dicks. Like, come on, man. I only post the mild stuff. <laughs> so anyone watching, join our servers. <laughs> yeah, mine's mostly just for comms for games, but I rarely do that anyway, so... Well, I really use it, so yeah. Alright, so I have these two. Yeah, scrapping grips. Short aligned barrel. Actually, how was that? Yeah, ah, here actually. True short barrel. Hmm. Well, you kind of need a good PC to play uh, PUBG because of the large scale, so you need a long, long render distance. Hello there. I have returned. Yay. Oh, I finally got a suppressor. Yay, I learned how to make a suppressor. <laughs> oh, how big is the range hit? Not too bad, the way slightly. Oh Alright, let's actually also repair this thing. And what was the repair button? Ah, right, T. Inspect and repair. And then watch up. Uh, the worst thing about PUBG was that it inspired Fortnite, and that then caused Epic to have a success, which means that now a whole bunch of good games are being made exclusive. Because there was a game one, exclusivity has been brought to PC, and it's horrible. Yeah. Actually, Fortnite's been around for a while. It's just the Battle Royale thing. Most recent. Fortnite was originally a zombie survival game. I think so. Of the campaign. Let's get some more AP. Which has yet to be released yet. Still working on that. Never played the game, but still.
Plus, it's kind of hard to play a uh, RTS on a console. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit weird, I would say. Although I don't actually like RTS, but. You're better off with a computer for RTSs. Yeah. Alright, so what does that actually do? Because more than half the time, they usually have a fucking pop limit. Hmm. Oh yeah, right, my arm is also a bit, uh, a bit battered. Oh yeah, this, this is definitely need up some repairs. Yeah, that was snow. Oh, there's still some more these repairs. Ooh, right, this thing definitely needs repairs. Hmm. Alright, so was that all the. Yeah, that was all the ones that are really bad. Should I put a uh, should I put a red dot side on this thing by now? Maybe I should. Hmm. Gives me a tiny booster accuracy. Actually, no, pretty big booster actually. <laughs> Only a minor increase to weight, so. Yeah, let's actually just add a reflex cycle this thing. I now have a fully tactical lever action rifle. Oh, I'm not even talking about power here, I'm just talking about controls. Like, the controls for a uh, PC is just more comfortable. Plus, I like sitting and playing. Most because I have a chair that's rather nice. It's not one of those normal gaming chairs, it's like kind of a chair where you basically kneel down on it. It's, it's better for your back. There also isn't a seat on it. Oh, no, not a seat. Uh, there isn't a, uh, a back thing on it, so it doesn't hurt your back as much. It, it's a very weird chair. And here I thought you just sat on a giant dildo all day. <laughs> He's not you. Boy. <laughs> Girl? I have a weapon I can shove into my storage box. Mm. I just put the revolutionary sword in there. Okay. What are you playing? Uh, 76. Because hmm. for a second there, you just said universal storage. I uh, immediately thought to the G GTA meme of. You start everything up your ass. 
Well, it works. I'm pretty sure that it's canon that you actually do that in uh, the Saints Row games because you can run around those completely naked. Where'd and you pull that gun out of? Do you know? I really want to know. <laughs> I mean, it's either that or a quantum storage pocket. Yeah, how are you going to carry that around when you're naked? See, see, you fool! Magic. I grafted a bag. I wrecked him. Hmm. Quantum storage pockets. <laughs> uh, how else did you expect Black Oak Widow to get most of her ammo out of? <laughs> her, oh no. Her, her utility <laughs> armbands? I think she has those. She, Her animation has her going up to her ass and then the ammo pops out of there. Wait, Black Widow has an animation? Yeah. Like, her reload animation? Hmm. I don't she know reaches it's... near the rear area, and out pops a clip. But, or I... magazine. I don't remember... Has Marvel made a game with Black Widow in it? Black Widow's that purple sniper chick. That's Widowmaker. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Whatever. I know Death Battle had a death battle between those two recently, which was completely wrong, because Widowmaker's. How so? Uh, because Widowmaker can because punch through steel it. plates, and she can tank just about as much as everyone else. Basically, she's part of Overwatch. You look at how tanky those guys are. Considering that they can actually, take... She's not actually part of an Overwatch. No, it's but part of she's part of that universe. Team. Yeah, uh, Talon, technically. But no, um, basically she can survive being cut, I believe it's six times, by Genji's Tanto, which hits with roughly... Gameplay the... mechanics? Yes, which is where most of the information we have on these characters come from. So we have to take all sources into Comics account. as well? Yeah, in which she has never actually been hurt at all. So we have to take her durability from the games. And we have very good science on how much damage each of their attack actually cause. Uh, and basically any yes, melee... Apparently the single strongest object in the Overwatch universe is the light post... Um, well, yes, the, the excuse here is nanomachines. I'm not actually nanomachines, joking. Nanomachines, son! Exactly! Like, basically, think of the entire cast of the Overwatch game as being Senator Armstrong, but with more guns. That, that makes way too much sense. Yes, this is why they can hand, like, this is why Genji can parry uh, six miniguns at the same time. And this is I mean, also... He's not entirely dead, either. Yet, yeah, just remember, him doing that would cause the air in front of him to light on fire, and his Tanta would end up weighing about the same as a small elephant, because of the G-forces exerted. And he could just do that! Like, there's technically no what? limit on how quick Genji can move. Impacts we have not enough, basically. Not enough. So I need to stop. Ocean blur is such does exist. Nah, I don't like motion blur in games though. It looks weird. No, I mean there is that effect because you know when you see a hummingbird fly, you kind of see where the wings are. Yeah. That's mostly because of uh, all the uh, photons being knocked back, so they kind of come in uh, waves, sort of. Ah, crap. Getting dehydrated. Oh, no boiled water. Yes, I have plenty of it.
zählen. <lacht> What came to play? Play 76 with me. <lacht> I don't have it. Why Or not? Am I going to ever touch it? Why not? You get it for free if you buy a controller at a GameStop. Okay, fair enough, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. No, the best fall again was New Vegas. Uh, at least that. At least that game had more to do than. Ah! Enough. Stop knocking me forward every single time. I wanted to get more stim packs, not loot. How do they keep hitting me when I shoot that? Oh, right, right, I forget because you, the engine doesn't support you being smaller. Yeah, I mean, the worst part of Fallout 4 was technically the uh, NPCs and the dialogue, because the dialogue were really terrible. Which is also why I say that Bioware is a horrible game developer, because they were basically the one who popularized the dialogue wheel, which has plagued RPGs ever since. Well, they actually did the dialogue wheel to actually speed up the process of the game's development. Otherwise, the game would have taken even longer to develop, believe it or not. Because they just had to have a voice acted protagonist, right? Uh, as far as the Fallout universe is concerned, yeah, that was a stupid move on their part. Yeah, but here's the thing: yeah. I don't, I don't know what game developer said this, but somebody said like a delayed game will eventually be good, a rushed game will forever be bad. So that you're just saying like, oh, it's a rush up the de the development is like, yeah, that's just a bad idea. Um, Duke Nukem Forever would be an example of why you shouldn't delay a game too long. Yeah, but that game was also, like, you might think it wasn't Not development for all that. You might say it was de development for all that time, but it wasn't. The game was scrapped completely several times. They made, like, three games in that amount of time, but they never released any of them. Because they always wanted to, it to be kind of on point. Like they wanted it to be on Vogue, essentially, which I mean, just couldn't do. Some of the comedy wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah. Yes, they can put NPCs into seventy-six. They just have to abandon their main design philosophy of like, we don't want there to be. We want every human you meet to be another human. There's plenty of NPCs in the game. Heck, I'm shooting them constantly. You see that super mutant over there? He's a non-player character. I can hit him. 
Non player character. Like, no, we're saying we want more journalists in our games. <laughs> <laughs> Dab on the liberals. Dab. Dab on the pagans as well. I don't know what you're on about. Because I don't recall ever hearing about anyone that's not Islamic. That arrow is a freaking animal. Oh yeah, you mean like people that you can't kill? You mean like all the important NPCs from previous Fallout games? Yeah, no, like, but that's always do the whole yeah unkillable NPCs essentially. Yeah, that's retarded. Um, actually, I think you can kill them. Uh, in some so games you can backwards. kill them once they are no longer needed for a quest. In uh, Fallout 3 there was actually a pretty infamous guy who just kind of walks around, he's not related to any quests. But he's, but he's just kind of, you know, said to be essential. That flag never gets removed, he just walks around. I'm sure there's a console command to remove that, actually. Yes, yes there is. Yeah, but that's, that's always been what Todd in mind, anyways. Todd Howard is terrible. He's a bad uh, yeah. dungeon master. He's also bad at storytelling. Okay. Then he tends to lie a lot. It just works. No, it doesn't. Regress and regress and regress. I mean, for all the all the shit people give it, I enjoyed Fallout 4 as its own game. I enjoyed it, it as soon as I finished all the quest lines, so I didn't have to worry about it anymore. It, it definitely would have been better if they'd left in the oh, I don't know, fucking stat system. Ow. You know. But maybe that's just me being weird. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Stat God, system definitely a, worse. Was better. I was an Elder Scrolls fan, so I kind of noticed how regressive, how much regression was in there, while Todd was in there. I mean, streamlining isn't inherently bad, but like it's supposed to be an RPG, and then they gutted the RPG mechanics. Yeah. You know, I thought that they would go to the whole uh, dialogue pie feeding thing, but also, damn it, I have to use my stim pack here. Oh, leave me alone, you bloody! From Oblivion to Skyrim, you lost what, most of the starting shit. Yeah, you didn't choose your god from the character creation. You go up to a shrine, which you can locate. I don't see a reason to choose those things at the beginning, and oh boy, I'm being sandwiched between. Actually, Never mind! It's supposed to be this is what your character has always believed in. As far as the Oblivion is concerned. That, and they have abilities? And spell or spells? Or something to enhance you? Yeah, but that stuff's stupid as a thing to choose in the beginning, especially for a game that you might not be familiar with. It's basically like, oh yeah, choose one of these things. Do you know what it is? No, but just choose one. Better just have that be something you've developed through gameplay. No, it's more or less... It's the same reason why class is stupid. You... No, um... Like, the signs you were given were was actually meant to be like your birth date type saying like what star cluster were you born in is technically asking what year you were born in type thing for your character like what's the star sign you were born under yeah and that thing gives you special powers which means that anyone born in this month should basically just be like oh you're born under the tower thing if it 
does the same as in Skyrim. It's like, oh yeah, lock those guys in prison because they're obviously thieves. Because they can pick locks better. It's just for the player character. They have the ability. That only affects the player character. Because most of, for most other people, constellations do absolutely nothing. And that's stupid. Oh, right. They only activate on certain occasions for certain people. Hmm. Okay, this is a full on fucking battle, and I cannot handle this. Fair though, the entire Fallout series is stupid, so. I think radiation doesn't stay that long. I know. Because plants usually retake the earth. Yeah, there are mushrooms that subsist entirely off uh, of. In the real world, we have plants that literally eat radiation for food. Yeah, and we know how to cultivate them. There's also the... Uh, well, that's the... Where man is abandoned, nature is usually almost always there in force. Yeah. Look around Chernobyl. There's all sorts of animals there. Because there's no people there. Yes. Yeah, and they're better at adapting sports of than humans. It's a good thing they aren't pushing into this gap. Otherwise, I'll be pretty, uh, pretty screwed right now. Hey, do you guys like explosions? Have some. Ow. Oh no, explosion shotguns are not actually that good in this game. Strangely enough, it seems like they nerfed them. Yeah. So, get yourself a giant baton that does extra damage against minorities. Call that police brutality. Did Trudeau really do that? What? Huh? Not again. Have you found some weird news? I'm looking at the memes. Oh, right. Oh, by the way, apparently the Great Cathedral of Notre Dame burned. Yep. Real badly. I blame the Muslims. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that that's not just me memeing. Uh, there... Videos floating around of what appear to be some uh, white robed men in beards at the scene. Hmm. Could just be. Uh, we're definitely not actually... part of the staff. <laughs> uh, could just be Jesus coming back and be like, oh no, I don't like churches. Because there is no, actually. No, but uh, seriously, yeah. there's some videos going about of just. People that definitely us, aren't but... supposed to be there. And yeah, white robes generally aren't proper work attire. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen the videos, but yeah, I actually tried to think. I wouldn't be surprised if that ends up getting rebuilt as a mosque. Oofed. That Although would be. Did, but yeah, uh, the, the, if they did if that, the at, French people would have gone really, really bloodthirsty. Well, the, th the thing is, this ain't the first cathedral fire. 
Certainly not the first in France. There have been like a hundred in the past year. Right. Like I said, I blame the Muslims, regardless of whether or not they actually did it. Yeah, I'm actually still waiting on results. If it's not, if it was an intentional set of blaze type thing, there will be blood in the streets of France. Didn't they just stop rioting? Uh, no, the uh, Yellow Vest riots are still going on. Oh, and the police right. are still... Yeah, protest. Yeah. And the police are still shooting them. Several people have been killed, usually by just police shooting. Like, the leader of the yeah. of the protest that got his eye shot out by police. Several people have gotten their hand blown off because of the grenades that the police have been throwing. France, is everything okay? I'm going to go on the side of caution and say no. Let's be honest. It's most likely uh, not. My head. Wait, that took that took a while for him to realize he didn't want to fight me. No. Why would the CIA do anything to make people hate Muslims? CIA has been supporting Muslims for a long ass time. Like most of the uh, Middle Eastern countries that uh, Muslims have taken over with, was with the support of the CIA. Yeah. They... This Yeah, the American government. By all means, feel free, to, feel free to discuss and disagree with me. I, humans are prone to picking up patterns, you know. D just saying. Yeah. There's just a bit too many points in the Quran where they basically call for violence towards all on non-believers and stuff like that. It, it's a bit distressing once you start looking into it. So, yeah. Like I said, Deus Vault, my dude. <laughs> Funny, considering it's a pair and I just said that, but yeah. Uh, I think the whole CA being involved in in the 11-9 uh, uh, incident, and I'm going to keep calling that because that's how you're supposed to say it. It's the date. It's the date first, the month it's... afterward. Yes, our dating system is retarded. We know. We know. Day, month, year. Yeah. But no, they were the people who did it were trained by the CIA, but they didn't think that, oh, maybe the Muslims would betray us. Like, yeah. Be fair, would you actually expect them to just all of a sudden out of fucking blue? Um. Yes. Especially if they're supposed to be busy dealing with Russia. Well, yeah, because Russia is nice and, uh. Well. Russia is very, uh. anti gay. America isn't as much, and America also likes their freedoms. Things that religious extremists really, really dislike. So yeah. Although the Democrats are going to not likely exist anymore, with how their antics are going. video for the latest shit that mm. apparently happened. Hmm. I haven't watched him in a while. Yeah, I've been slowly watching him. Well, no, I'm not a hate criminal. We don't have hate crime laws here against uh, towards Muslims. It's not a thing. 
No, oh, I mean the Democrats apparently got butt hurt when the illegal detainees are starting to get unleashed into quote unquote sanctuary cities. Well, they want them anyway, so Trump is just giving it to them. <laughs> yeah, but they're like, how dare you put it on our doorstep? Yeah, it's a whole not in my Let's backyard go. kind of thing. Yeah, it's like, no, no, come into this country, but go in the red states. And the red states, secondly, the blue ones, because blue is usually like to the red. Well, red's supposed to be yeah, communist. The, Democrats. Yeah. the red states are for the Republicans. Right, but I'm used to red being left because, well, the yeah, communists we, were we left. Know. Yep. I just have to remember that America is backwards when it comes to those kind of things. No, it's just... The way the election system is rigged against any... So all the party. party. Yeah. Well, I think actually the old... Uh... Like I keep saying, I'm expecting the Democrats to fully collapse and then the Republicans will splinter to fill the void. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Actually, that would be preferential if they actually had a multi-party system instead of a two-party system. We have an American and a Can Canadian in here. I'm from neither. I'm from Scandinavia. Specifically the part Canada that... Canada is a multi-party country. And I'm, I'm from the part of uh, Scandinavia that uh, basically tells Muslims, Muslims to get the hell out because we don't like him. And if they try to come in here, we'll steal all their goods by taxes, so they have nothing when they actually come in here. Give them access to a couple of the social benefits, and we're also going to tell them that they should leave as soon as possible, because we don't want to deal with them. <laughs> May I be of assistance? Hmm. Exterminate stuff. Protect. Hmm. I wonder if this would cause me to get infinite caps because there's a fabrication machine that allows me to just make these this outfit. I wonder if I can just keep making this specific outfit, going over selling it, and run back and make another one. Is that to get infinite cash? Hmm. Hmm. Might almost be worth a try. <laughs> May I be of assistance? Hmm. Serve and protect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, nah, not really. The Russians have to get through quite a few other people before they can get to Denmark, in which case the international community will probably start uh, being kind of annoyed with them. Serve and protect. Like, first they have to get through Finland, for one, so... And they're all, if they're going to do it by boat, then they're first going to have to sail past Van Holm. In which case, yeah, that, that's some advanced warning right there. Uh, then we have all the other countries around the, um, whatever that sea is called, I can't forget, actually. Uh, yeah, sorry, I, I'm not the best with the names of different uh, bodies of water and stuff like that. So. And specifically that part of the world, I don't actually remember what most of the countries are called, because there's so many small countries all around, so... Yeah, that does happen. Like this Poland, Finland, and a few others in that area that the Russians would have to go through before there's they could get Romania to... Romania as well. 
Oh yeah, Romania is a thing. So yeah, they're gonna have to go through a bit before that can happen, so it's not a big concern. Yeah, actually, Romania is actually be doing pretty good at resisting. Long live V the Impaler. <laughs> Technically, he is a hero of the populace there. Yes. Whereas we call him Chad the Impaler. <laughs> the man who would have loved marshmallows. Mm hmm. Uh, the Danish language, it sounds. It's weird. Uh, I can try saying a bit in Danish. Men, det er ikke så interessant at høre på dansk. Mange folk siger det bare lyder som der er nogen der prøver en kartoffel i munden. But yeah, that's that's how Danish sounds. It's it's not the most interesting language to be fair. Sounds like literal gibberish. So does every language that you don't know. Well, yes, but I'm an American. Yes, which means you probably don't even know American. Because the average That's in America, the a, they don't even know English, let alone learn any other language. Yeah, I mean there was a study that was made about the average number of uh, languages known by the uh, people living in various countries, and Americans on average knew 0 0.7 languages, indicating that there's some Americans that don't know American, <laughs> which is just kind of sad. I don't actually know. I think it was adults. Have you ever tried to speak hick? Have you ever tried? It's hell. Um, we don't have genders per se, but we have different class of words. There are words that uh, um, we put a N at the end of, and then we have words that we put a T at the end of. Because we have uh, our word for saying say uh, hick. Yes. Hick is its own distinct language. Yeah, so I don't know where the hell the gender thing came out of. I don't know, it was, uh, it was chat. Chat was asking if uh, Danish has gendered words. And we kind of do, but we, are, we don't consider them gendered. Uh, because our um, specific uh, singular form, I don't remember what the uh, actually actual proper oh, English sure. way of saying it. But if we want to specify a singular object, we can either put a it or in in front of it. That's our way of saying like a specific singular entity of something. Wait, what the heck just oh right, I had an assault tron just by this laser. Sup <laughs> there. Whoa, okay. That thing did not Wow. Oh it didn't hide a lot of have a lot of health. Oh, crap. Empiric multi-purpose. Ooh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Empiric melee weapons are amazing. Because every time you swing it, you regenerate 3% health. Regardless of if you hit anything or not. That is a ridiculously good weapon. Yeah, and Danish technically do as well, but it's it just worded in a different way. And there's only the only way to really find out whether or not it is a gender word or not. It's just some, like there's no way of telling if it is which one it is. You just have to remember it. I don't have any mods available, and I can't be bothered to moderate this play. <laughs> My chat. <laughs> I, I mean, I'd be more than happy to be a mod, but I'd probably do a shitty job. <laughs> Besides, I don't think I could, uh, I could actually be ban anyone in my chat without uh, 
breaking laws in my country because we have something called uh which allows you to say which whatever you want without anyone really taking actions against it so uh yeah yes but also youtube <laughs> yes but i'm danish so screw them <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so does this work? We have yet to have asked Wojcicki. Aw, oh, did they fix that glitch? That's a shame. It doesn't regenerate health anymore. <laughs> I mean, I know how to ban people in the chat, but I haven't bothered to do it ever. I don't. I haven't found a good reason to do so. <laughs> Let's see, which excuse could I use to ban someone? Uh, nah, I don't know if I'm spamming, that's about it. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, right, there's flame traps around here. Not flaming traps, but flame traps. Flame traps. Get activated by hmm. trip one. Yes, I have to specify. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crud. I can't understand why this place is such a popular place for people to farm legendaries at. We've encountered two so far. We can get a hit in on one of them, but hey. This place ain't half bad, right? Huh. Deserted. <laughs> okay, this looks bad. <laughs> It's somewhat scary that most of this, like, there's a lot of places in this area where there's just kind of clouds of gas. And I'm kind of worried it's going to explode all of a sudden. Oh, not this glitch again. What, what? glitch are you encountering and in what game? And it's a glitch where people's equipment are the only things visible. Huh. Oofed. Yeah. And what game is this? Rody K. Stolstorm. Dawn of War Stolstorm. Hmm. Okay. Playing a modded game. So. Restarting the battle because not exactly how it uh, usually ends. Hmm. Huge revolutionary sword, but what level? 
level is this revolution sword then? Oh, only level 20. Uh, that's a shame. Because the Furious effect is quite nice. I'd probably rather have execution on the weapon, but uh, you can't get everything. Come and get me. You're not supposed to be able to hit me up here. There's a lot of feral ghouls here, and they're annoying me. What, did you end up in Auschwitz? We're going on a trip? Well, that solved that issue. Is there any civilized ghouls in the area? Uh, or is that it just full of ferals? Um, for there to be a civilized ghoul, that would require there to be a human NPCs, because, well, sentient ghouls are technically human NPCs. So, yeah, nope. Definitely isn't. That would go against the main design philosophy of this game, that is, no human NPCs. Quest givers. Yes, those are all either radio signals, pre recorded messages, or robots. Um. Fucking what? Yes. The entirety of this uh, specific American state, I guess, was uh, automated. Vault 76. Where it's just automated and the only person that was in there is you. Nope, uh, that was fully staffed by humans, but everything out in the actual state itself was automated. I'm gonna call bullshit? Uh, kinda? Uh, oh. Typically, states aren't usually that different from each other, as far as the whole automation thing is concerned. Yeah, but apparently there was like a huge push uh, before the war to make everything automated. Oh, right, this guy. If there's an excess of resources. 
I mean, where I live used to be known for its refining, and then that sort of just fell apart. It's not that unbelievable that an area would entirely automate for a bit, or at least try to. And it bloody well succeeded, and it managed to maintain itself for 25 years. Because that's how well Fallout robots work. I mean, yeah, they were there to assist, not to replace. Yeah, but they completely replaced, which is why there were so many riots in the area. It's also why you can get signs as weapons that are literally just like, we need jobs now. It's kind of funny. Wasn't that supposed to be an experimental thing for Fallout 4? Uh, what do you mean? Like, there was a spot where it's like, yeah, this is going to be an experimental test bed for the entire America's thing for how robots can. Oh yeah, the um, yeah, the uh, atomic gallery. I think it was called. Yeah, wasn't that supposed to be just a test? Yes, that was uh, them sort of like showing off what we can, what they said that we can expect to see in the future. Turns out that an entire state just decided to do it a bit ahead of time, apparently. Affecting you right off the fucking bat. So, I mean, I suppose they kind of established that this thing should be possible. It's just still a bit weird. Okay, let's see if that issue happens again. Oh, yep, it did. Guess I can't get up there. Oh, now they're entirely invisible now. Invisible. Great. Just fucking great. I'm just tired of getting so many legendary melee weapons. I mean, sure they're nice and lightweight, so they're gonna be good for saving for when the purveyor finally arrives. But I wanna get a legendary light machine gun. At max level, of course. Because otherwise. There we go. Pardon? What was that? Uh, apparently one of my builders is getting targeted with an annoying ability. Hmm. I don't know what's causing it, but... A lot of legendary weapons this time, though. I actually rather like uh, use of armor, I think. Not very high level, though. Not very high level. Well, execution is Chinese. So. That's only gonna be as good as my current weapon when the target actually below a half health. It's not, hmm. it's not the best.
actually a bit fun. I've noticed a lot of uh, streamers get asked to speak in their native tongue if they aren't from like any of the. Um... What's the term for them? What's the term for all the countries that kind of came out of Britain? There's a specific term for it. No, I, I can't remember. We have streamers that speak other languages than English often get asked to speak in them. It's kind of funny. Shit quick. There we go. Hmm. Well, White Springs definitely is an interesting zone in this game. Like, it's an entire resort that just ends up being dedicated to farming legendaries because of how many of them are spawn in the area. At your service, ma'am. May I be of assistance? Can I get no, I can get it here. I wonder if any of these buildings can be entered. We probably can. There's another guy with that invisible gun. Oh, no, not invisible, but the weird pink gun that has been introduced. Actually, is that thing glowing? These things. Gardens have always been the pride of the white spring. That was so close. There we go. All caps and some shotgun shells. Do they do? Yeah, it's the standard build unit for the Chaos f faction is the Heretics. Mm. Their usual one of their lines is, We are here for the Dark Gods. Okay. I just had a feral ghoul pull up right in front of me and then just disappear. I don't care if I have to run away a bit for you, but a three-star legendary. This is going to be good. Almost well, doesn't matter what I get at that point. Because that stuff's going to be valuable either way. Life saving radar right arm. Let's 
not not too bad. Depends on what the rest of the stuff in the mind. Life is forfeit. Damn it, I missed my jump. Wait, uh, can you guys not get to me if I'm in this hole? Never mind, I can fall down. Can you guys give me a second? I need to have a drink. I need some booze in me right now, so I can carry more stuff. Oh, possible. Now I can run. But can I get... There we go. No! I'm falling down again! No! Damn it! Okay. Other way is easier. Come on, come on. Up in the hedge, the tubes up on the roof. And now carpet bombing sign. <laughs> but they got so little health left. It was almost pathetic. Legendary. Didn't get in on it. Hmm. Hello. I think I'm gonna stop this for now and head back to my camp. So I've got quite a bit of stuff. Oh, it's going to be amazing when the purveyor finally arrives so I can start selling all these uh, legendary items. Oh, well, more specifically exchange them for better ones. Hmm. Well, I'm really looking forward to see what kind of system they're going to be using for him in. Trip back might actually be a bit dangerous. Uh, um, do you want to grab some more food so I can keep? Yeah, why not? What's well, the worst that can happen? I get addicted, so what? I also think I don't have to craft any more lever action rifles at this point because I know all the mods that I want for them. So that's nice. And protect. Still nothing new. So 
just gonna hold jump. I don't use my dragon enough. It is quite a powerful gun and the ammunition weighs a lot so it could be for me to just use it whenever. Hmm. Maybe I should also try to remove the whole light bleed effect because it is a bit overkill. Colors do bleed out quite a bit in this game. Especially the obvious with shiny objects. Now that I have a suppressor for my lever action rifle, I might be able to go into the, that mine again. So I think I'm going to do that next stream. Probably will be tomorrow. I hope at least. Hmm. Alright, well, get off. Eh. No, take care. Take sure. care, y'all. Yes. Yeah, the stream is quieting down quite a bit, so I might as well stop it while it's ahead. Just need to get to my camp again. It should be up ahead. Beckwich Farm. Oh, this was the place where I had to bail out last time. Because Milo Kings are way too strong. Way, way too strong. Coal? Wait, coal? Wonder if I coal. Let me just grab that. We'll see what I can make out of that. Hmm. Did I just bypass the farmhouse? No wait, no, it's over here. It's over here. Oh, it's uh, it was my legs, was it not? Phosphate deposit. Wait, is this phosphate see through? Huh. It's still in this. I don't see any hostiles, so I guess I'll just keep moving. There's usually quite a few enemies in that pass, but there's none this time. Hmm. Okay, guess someone was fishing here. Well, how did they catch a rat scorpion egg? Hmm. Weird. Alright. Wait. Oh, right, my ran out of. Need some more grilled rats, then give me that. Last one. 
think I'm almost back to camp. I think I might have to grab another level to uh, hit the actual camp. <laughs> I also need to choose what, because I'm pretty sure I leveled up again, so I should figure out what I need to, what I can use that perk for. I might keep going with the, uh, with the whole super duper thing, just so I can craft more ammunition. It's crafting double the amount of stuff occasionally is uh, pretty good. Pretty damn good. There is, of course, also the argument to be made for starting to level up blacksmith so that I can start crafting good uh, melee weapons. Mm. Lots and lots of options. Did a vertebrate crush here? Uh, Almost back at camp. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tie it Oh well. So, let's have a get some triggers. Oh, I would have Super Duper at uh, rank 2, so yeah, finishing that off seems like a good idea. Pick up a pick it perch. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't mean strength that it was blacksmith. Um, guess not. Hmm. Although in here, I do want to get heavy gunner, expert heavy gunner, master heavy gunner. Just so that I can get my heavy weapons to actually be more effective eventually. But, yeah, nothing there. Uh, ironclad, need to get that one max. Oh, first, I need to get a million to get it max. For better defense outside of palm, because using it feels claustrophobic in there. Health regen should be good, but I'm eating enough food that I can keep myself up. It's all with that. Friendly fire. Huh. Could be interesting. Strength in numbers. That one could be pretty cool, actually. I just need other people who also have mutations and lots of them, preferably. And Wasteland Whisper, I could also increase, I suppose. So there's ah, no makeshift warrior. That was the thing. That's the thing I need to max out so I can be good with uh, making melee weapons as well. Intelligence is just a crafting thing. Oh yeah, weapon artisan. That's the thing I need to work on next, so I can repair my weapons to more than 100% quality.
sneak attack with melee. Melee, that's not... Sneak though. Sneak could be nice. Are the criticals? No. Oh. Yeah. Class free though. <laughs> Well, the negative effect of the mutations that I have aren't that bad. One gun on is eventually going to be pretty good. Yeah, let's get the last super duper. And make a max level one. And there we are. I'm gonna start working a bit more on my camp. I'm not gonna recall that because without somebody to actually chat to or well, who's certain to help me build a camp, it's not fun to watch, is it? So, yeah. I'm gonna stop the stream here. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, I've been Maven, and have a good one.